It's a bit of a wiring mess right now, but you know, such is life. I'm now tightening the, the things, to, the screws to hold in, in place. And there are nuts here that I'm stopping from rotating with my fingers. I think in the next version of this part design, I will simply make it so that those things can't rotate, like I did up over here where they're captured. Okay, it's nice and stable now. Won't lift. I'm going to power on the unit. Oh, yeah. Well, what I mean is, in order to do the art up here, just turn it on. Connecting the software. If it never actually worked for certain stuff, true, I could easily do other things. Okay, software should be active. So I'm going to home X. I'm not going to home Z, but I'm going to tell it to home Z, and then I'll just use this to, to home it. Home Z, oops. I put a micro switch on this side. I can just push the switch whenever I want it to say it's home. That's home. Now I'm going to... I have control on the computer, so I just activate this. I'm going to move this into a position where I can drill a hole. Okay, I'm turning on the extruder, or sorry, not the extruder, the rotary tool. And now I'm very slowly moving this down. That might be too slowly. I'm a little bit more quickly moving this down. Now slowly moving this down. And I've got a little pocket that I've drilled. Done.